Consumers Energy has the go-ahead to begin burying power lines in the state. The goal to prevent future power outages. 13 on your side's Elena Holland tells us how. In Michigan, we all know the threat of power outages looms with severe weather. But now, we are really excited. Consumers Energy is working to prevent outages in certain areas. We're go out and we're going to bury these lines. The Michigan Public Service Commission approved the energy company's proposal to bury 10.3 miles of power lines in the state this year. It will cost $3.7 million and cover six counties, including Allegan, Ottawa, and Montcalm. So this will eliminate power outages in those areas. It's going to be really exciting for those people. The problem, trees falling on lines from heavy winds and other major weather events. Consumers pick the lines to bury in areas that often face outages and have high tree cover. And we spend you know, over 100 million a year tr trimming trees and, and dealing with outages there. If you live in these areas, it should not be a huge disturbance during the construction. We will go through and add the new cable underground. And then there'll be a brief outage when we cut over from the above ground to the underground. And so those customers on, in those 10.3 miles will have just a small outage and we'll tell them in advance. Consumers is also trimming 7,000 miles of trees, installing new poles, conductors and cross arms and modernizing the grid to help prevent power failure. This is really how we unlock the door to having a system that will, that will withstand even the craziest of weather that Mother Nature throws at us. Elena, will they do more than these 10 miles in the future? Uh, yeah, consumers would like to if they're approved to do so. Consumers' five-year plan outlines burying more than 1,000 power lines in the next few years. They're also assessing how cost-effective this year's phase is, and then they'll go from there. Thanks, Elena.